Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys about the simple guide that I have made for a drawing app called HiPaint. This app is similar to Procreate, it's free and it's available in the App Store as well as in the Play Store. This video will be divided into several parts. Stay tuned for some bonus tips at the end of the video. Click on the plus button and select create new painting. As you can see, there are lots of different canvas sizes. The bigger your canvas is, the less layer you'll get. For me, I'm going with 2000 times 2000 pixels. And there you have your canvas ready to use. The second thing on the list is layers. Click on the icon next to the eraser icon. And that's where you can adjust your layers. You can change the background color with any color you want. Here, I'm drawing a simple heart to give an example about how layers work. As you can see, I'm adding another layer and I'm drawing a yellow outline on that same layer. When you put that layer below the first layer, your yellow outline will automatically go below the white heart. You can also adjust the opacity for each layer. about brushes. There are tons of brushes to choose from. Here I'm showing you guys what type of brushes they have. I'm using the soft crayon brush. If you like a certain brush, you can click on the heart icon and it will directly save that brush into the favorite album. The next thing I want to talk about is the tools that High Paint provided. The tools provided here are pretty much similar to any drawing app out there. This app allows you to add a reference picture if you need one. Just import the picture and you can readjust the size of the reference as well. This part of the video is basically just me showing what you can do with the other tools. number five we have importing pictures so all you need to do is to click on that plus button up there and click pictures after that you can just go ahead and select the picture you want to import this will automatically add another new layer for the picture I usually use this to trace a drawing now it's time for the bonus tips Bonus tip number one is how to create an animation. As you can see there, I already have my drawing. Now I'm adding a new layer as well as lowering the opacity for the first layer. Then I'm tracing the first drawing. The placement doesn't really need to be precise with the first drawing. Click on that three dots on the right and click create animation. Adjust the frames per second. I usually go for three. The bigger the number, the faster the animation will be. Moving on to bonus tip number two and that is how to create your very own stamp brush. The first thing you want to do is to click new brush. Once your brush is created, Put preview and flow down. Put spacing to 1000. Put down the maximum size. Put minimum flow all the way up and turn off accumulative. Then go to shape and import your stamp. After that, go to dual brush and import your stamp again. Put up the maximum and minimum size. Adjust the spacings to your likings. Put blending mode to normal. Put down the angle jitter, that way your stamp won't spin. Rename your brush, and your stamp brush is done. If you want to create another stamp brush, you can simply duplicate it, and just replace the image in the shape and dual brush, as well as renaming it. Here's 
how to download your work. Click on that three button and click the share icon to export your work. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!